I have never attended in my entire life as a doctor and as a diabetes specialist because today's function marks a very important event which is truly victory over diabetes in every sense of the term. You know the famous adage that the proof of the pudding is in the eating. There's no point talking about it. It's very sweet, it's very this, it's very nice, it's very soft, it's very... When you put it in your mouth, then you know whether the pudding is good or not. Similarly, if I tell you that we can win over diabetes, but then I don't show you the proof, then it's just rhetoric, it's just empty rhetoric. But here, ladies and gentlemen, we are presenting before you the true heroes of diabetes. I googled just to see whether, okay, all over the world this is very common and we're just doing it. I couldn't find a single reference, a single picture, a single article, you know, in the whole world wide net that we have showing people with diabetes about 90 years of age coming for a function and taking part in a function like this. And therefore, I think it's unique. I think it's not only the first in India, I think it's the first in the world. After doing research and telling you this, so we are honoring patients with diabetes who are over 90 years of age and are still doing well. If they are not doing well, they won't be able to come here today. Okay. First of all, let me start with one of our chief guests. And it's our immense pleasure and honor and privilege to welcome Professor S. V. Chittibabu, former Vice Chairman of the Tamil Nadu Vice Chancellor of the Madurai Kamaraj University and the Annamalai University. <laughs> welcome, sir. Kamaraj University, he ushered in many pace setting reforms. Professor Chittibabu has written more than 100 articles on education, politics, culture and social issues. He has been honored with many titles such as Sorkale Chelvar, Kavi Kavala and many others. <laughs> Dr. Chitti Babu, by chapter, going through them and then giving me critical comments and saying what he enjoyed best in that and so on. That means his faculties are absolutely 100% working even at this age. And this has relevance to a small short presentation I'm going to make after this. But uh, so thank you sir for your presence. Another stalwart whom I would like to present to you today is a very well known uh, and famous gentleman from Tamil Nadu, uh, Mr. P. Sabanayagam, IAS retired, government of Tamil Nadu. Mr. Sabarnagam was born in August 1922. He served in the army from 1943 to 47. He was appointed to the IAS cadre in 1947, where he served till 1980, both in the state and the central governments. Textile, steel, aluminium, etc. He used to run, jog, and walk till 2015. Probably still does. In fact, he walked up today. He comes to us regularly for his health checkup and his diabetes is always under control. He's very witty and often stumps me with his uh, wit. And above all, he is also a great. Uh, because just now when I entered, also he told me, I was wondering if I was in the right place because I didn't see you here, he said. <laughs> Meaning that he has come earlier than me for the function. So that's an example of his wit. Uh, above all, he's also a very good family friend of ours. I now present a, a picture collage.